Deion Sanders' handshake goes left. because I know obviously Chime is a very good friend of mine and uh, I talk to him often um, at least once a week on most occasions sometimes multiple times I know Rob uh, played against him uh, we worked out together when he was uh, playing with the Tennessee Titans and when he was uh, with the Jags so I know both of these guys uh, Rob did go to Alabama State he's coaching his alma mater yeah. Deion has done an unbelievable job he has. for Jackson State I wish it didn't get to this point um, obviously Chime is upset that they that they scheduled a, a Jackson State for homecoming. See, everybody knows when you schedule somebody for homecoming, hey, we're going to beat the brakes off, y'all. We want to even win. All our love not coming back, we want to give them something to be happy about. They done been tailgating, they done came back in time from all over the country. So we want to give them something good to, to, uh, to cheer about. So we got Jackson State. Time's looking at it like, nah, y'all y'all know y'all can't beat us. This is a revenue game. So he played it up. Oh, I can't believe they scheduled. You know, and, and, and you know, and uh, it's just, and I think Rob took it, took it a little personal mm -hmm. that they, uh, they, uh, they're winning the ball game and they're still trying to score points at the end of the ball game. Yeah, he started blessing. And, uh, you know, the thing I would tell time, you got to be careful when you do that because guys are going to take shots at you now. Um, Ohio State, you remember they ran the fake punt? Okay. And Rutgers blasted the punter. Mm -hmm. And Jay is like, what, what? And, and she on that field, hey, you do it again, I'm going to do it again. And that's what you subject the players to. But it should it shouldn't have come to this. Hey, dap it up, hug it up. I thought the players being was disrespect for curse, cursing and saying some of the things that they were saying. That's not what it's about. I went to an HBCU, and we gave the utmost respect. Uh, we didn't play Grambling, but I knew who Coach Robinson was. Met him at a couple of my banquets. Uh, W.C. Gordon, uh, Jeffrey, yeah. all those guys. Willie Jeffrey, Skip, I know them all. Mm -hmm. and, and that, no, I would have never, ever. It would have never crossed my mind. I don't care if that man would have stepped across my quarterback. Man, you don't say things like that. Those are legends. Mm -hmm. That man's a legend. Do you understand the, the, the attention that you've gotten, HBCU, because time is at Jackson State? I got it. You're on TV. You got it. You know time much better than I do. I, do. I know him a little. Mm -hmm. And he is one of the great showmen in the history of professional oh, sports. He's a good so he's going to sell a game almost like fighters would sell a fight. Right. He's going to go back and forth yeah. because to him, it's just what you do before a game. Right. But Eddie Robinson took it very personally. He did. And, and the line was that got Dion after the game was, Eddie Robinson said, he ain't swag. <laughs> I'm swag, he ain't swag. And then he raved about the job Dion's doing. He raved about Shadur and right. should, should be in the Heisman discussion. But in the end, he says, Eddie Robinson says, you're not going to come in here and disrespect me and my team and my school and then want a bow hug. Shake my hand and get the hell off, which is why he pushed him away. <laughs> okay, so the, the line about I'm swag. Look back at Eddie Robinson's career. Yeah. He was the swag defensive player of the year two years in a row, 1990 and 1991. He was also academic all-conference uh, every year he played. Mm -hmm. so, so he's got quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won the Toyota Leadership Award in 1990. And in 1998, he became the youngest individual to ever be inducted into the SWAC Hall of Fame at age 28. Okay, so he's got some credentials within the SWAC yeah. confines yeah, 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 that, yeah. that Dion doesn't have. Is Dion putting the slack back on the mat? You better believe it. Absolutely, he is. yes. Okay, so I didn't have a problem with it, with, with what Eddie Robinson did, because it was just a very unfortunate situation that he took very personally, and now Dion's taken personally. And now Eddie Robinson's saying, I hope that he doesn't go to a Power 5 school because I want him next year. We'll go be their homecoming team back in Jackson. Well, you better go to a Power 5 school. You better get ready to play a Power 5 because I believe he's going to be gone. Okay. He's play, I mean, he's coaching so well in the job. It's, it's just not the coaching job. If you listen to his, the way he talks to the guys before the game, the way he talks to the guys at halftime, the way he talks to the guys after the game, that's what guys are missing. It's just, it's just not X's and O's. X's and O's. He's no, teaching he's these great. men about coming, becoming better young men. Hey. Dion's bound to coach in the NFL. Yeah. I'm hey, talking about head coach. Skip, you remember back in the NFL? The, the coaches did, they talked before the game. 
Dan Reeves, I never saw Dan Reeves shake anybody's hand up or not. They throw their hand up, I know, I they know. head to the locker room. Correct. <laughs> like the basketball coaches. The basketball coaches, they talk before the game, Skip. After the game. <laughs> yeah. 